on YouTube, this is your girl Quay, and today I'm back with a uh, story time um, of how I found that I was pregnant with this little guy. Say hi. Say hi. Um, just a little quick reminder, if you see me squinting in the videos, um, I'm waiting for my glasses to come. I went to the eyeglass doctor to get uh, my eyes checked to get um new glasses so that should be coming within next week but let's get into the video let me place this down so this story is funny how i got pregnant um okay so i think it was like march march or april one of one of the months one of the months i don't know what month it was but it was one of the months but it was like March or April I found out that I was no it was April uh, and the crazy thing about it was we was trying right we was trying because we was hoping that we would get a girl unfortunately that didn't work out um so a week before I found out that I was pregnant I had went to my doctor to my gym so i went to him and i was like um i want to take a pregnancy test or whatever so boom took one she was like oh it came back negative or whatever so i was like okay cool so i was like all right this give me enough time to you know really you know like you know prepare and stuff like that okay so boom um, I didn't think nothing of it until, like, um, I would say something told me to check when I had went to take, when I went to the doctor because I wasn't feeling good. So, I had went to the doctor. I had went to my doctor. Well, me and my kids, me and my kids' doctor, I wasn't feeling good or whatever. So, I took my son. And, oh, and my son was, he was sick too. So, I had to take him to the doctor as well. So... We get, no, I'm at the doctor, and I'm on the phone with my friend, and I'm like, yeah, girl, it'd be funny if, like, I was just saying, I was like, yeah, girl, it'd be funny if I found out that I was pregnant, or whatever, and, um, I didn't even know, so, she was like, she said, girl, you better take a pregnancy test, so I was like, that's what I'm about to do, so, like, a couple of minutes went by. And I had asked the doctor because I was I'm mad cool with the doctors and, and um our doctors and stuff. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> so I'm back. Um. So yeah, I had found out. No, when I had took the pregnancy test the first time, it said negative. So okay, boom. I was like, all right, they give me enough time to pay or whatever. So I was like, alright, cool. So <clears throat> I'm saying a lot of words repeatedly. So if you hear me saying like certain words repeatedly, don't mind me. <laughs> um, but I went to the doctor the following week, and I had went because I was feeling a little bit under the weather, and my my um middle son was like getting a little sick or whatever too. So I was like, yeah, let me just take him to the doctor. Maybe like. It's probably, you know, a little cough or runny nose or so throat or whatever. So I ain't thinking nothing of it. So something was like, Quay, take a pregnancy test. So while I was there, I was like, I was like, Wanda. I was like, um, I was like, Wanda, let me take a pregnancy test. Because I want to be, like, I want to make sure, like, ain't nothing, you know. So she had, she was like, all right. So I went to the bathroom in the back. I used the bathroom, whatever. Long story short, she, um did the test or whatever so I went back in the waiting room and I sat down and like 10 minutes later she had came out and she was like oh congratulations mommy you're pregnant so I was like oh my god like yeah yo you don't understand like the shit had me like the shit made my stomach drop but you know what's the crazy part when you find out before you find out that you're pregnant or like before you find out that you 
yeah, before you find out she was pregnant, like that you like when you find out you're pregnant, I'm telling tired of the motherfucker, like what's going on? Um, but before you find out that you're pregnant or whatever, um, you don't feel nothing, like you don't feel nothing different or whatever. I don't know if that's just me personally, but that's how I felt. So when she first told me that, like, that's when the shit started kicking in. Like I started feeling nauseous, like <laughs> I was tired. I was like, yo, like that shit is crazy. Like the shit was crazy. Um, as a matter of fact, April fifteenth. April fifteenth is when I had found out that I was pregnant with my baby boy. So I saw his dad. His dad was like, "Oh, I already knew." I was like, "You lying?" He was like, "Yeah, I already knew." Or whatever. So I was like, "You lying?" He was like, "But I'm happy." Like he was mad happy or whatever. So, I mean, when I found out, I was. I wasn't nervous because I have two kids already, but I was like kind of nervous because I'm like, it's been like six years, six, seven years since I had another child. So, I, you know how when you like have a child like so long after and you like kind of forget, like kind of sort of forget that like, wait, you kind of sort of forget what you had to do when you became a mother or whatever or when you have a baby and stuff or prepare for a baby like I kind of was like I don't know what the hell was going on I don't know what to do I was scared but I was like you know what what am I scared for I got two kids but it's the simple fact of that I kind of forgot like you know, I forgot how to make the bottles like how how many scoops to put in like the shit just re-registered in my head or whatever but I was happy when I found out I was pregnant. I was scared. I ain't gonna lie. I was scared like a motherfucker. Um. Uh, now to the labor part. I was so anxious. I was so anxious. When. It was closer to my due date. Because I was supposed to be. I was due. Um, December 15th. But I had him the 10th. So I was so anxious. I only had to wait one more week and he would have been here. But you understand, I was anxious. Like any any female out there will tell you if like when they first find out they are pregnant and like the you know the months go by and it get as soon as it gets to the last month, you get excited as hell. Like I was excited like a motherfucker, like period. Um I sounded mad dumb as fuck when I said that period. Like the fuck. Anyways, um Um but no so I had um I drank castor oil. That was like my thirty nine week. I was thirty nine weeks at the time. I had drunk some castor oil. So it didn't work the first time. So I was like, you know what, just fuck it. So like two days later I was like, I'ma try again. So I took two more spoonfuls of castor oil. Tell me why like three o'clock in the morning from three o'clock to eleven to twelve o'clock in the morning. I, I was up there contracting, like, contracting crazy. Like, the shit was crazy. I was contracting hard. And it was, like, the pain just, I don't know. The pain was just crazy. Like, it's crazy. Don't mind my hair. I don't give a fuck. Anyways, but I was, like, yo, so this is what it felt like again. Like, I was so, I wasn't, I don't know. I was just, like out of it so get to the hospital I had to bring my kids with me because I forgot what the hell happened I had to bring my kids with me because nobody was in the house with them at the time um the dad was at work and um he actually left work to come to the hospital yeah he left work to come to the hospital yeah yeah, he left work and came to the hospital or whatever. And I was in a room. And I was in the bed. I was all set up or whatever. Um, So, so I got the... When I got there or whatever... Ain't, I, I mean, my contraction wasn't that bad. But it was bad. Like, to the point where, like... It wasn't to the point where I had to pull up balls. It was an excruciating pain or whatever. But they said, like, every labor is different. Like, every... Like, different babies like it depends on 
the situation. But me, I had gestational diabetes for my pregnancy when I took the sugar test. That sugar, I don't know why people said that that sugar test shit is nasty. Like, I don't know if it was me or my fat ass. <laughs> when I drank it, I had the orange one and I drank it. It wasn't that bad to me, so I kind of liked it. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. But I took that test or whatever, and that's kind of why I had to really go in to induce my labor. Um, I had to get a C-section because I was um, like borderline high risk and plus I had blood pressure. So I was going through it, like the ending of my pregnancy, I was going through it or whatever. Um, I had to go to the doctor. I had to go back to the, the, the doctor every week to do the what's that it's called a stress test where they put the thing on the on your belly and like it monitors the heart and um i guess it monitors like the pulse or something like that for the mother or something like that to see the stress levels some shit like that whatever but um yeah so i went to i was at downstate hospital i went to downstate or whatever ain't nothing was you know fucking me up or whatever that's when I got the epidural because shit got real. When I tell you shit got real, shit got real. Like, I was ready to square with anybody that came in the fucking room. Like, I was... The pain, when I tell you the pain was fucking crazy. The shit was crazy. Like, man, like, it... The shit was just so crazy, I couldn't bear it. But, um, long story short. So, after I got the epidural, I fell asleep or whatever. The pain kept coming in. I kept asking them to um, dose me because it, it started to kick back in. So, I didn't want to feel it. So, they gave me another epidural. I mean, another dosage of epidural or whatever. And, like, two hours done went by. And I, as soon as I wake up, I see mad doctors. Like, all I see is mad doctors in the area. Like, mad. When, when I mean mad, you would have thought that I was having triplets or quintuplets. That's how many doctors was in the room. It was like six, eight of them or whatever. So, they was like, oh, Miss Evans. Oh, the baby, um... The baby um, heart rate dropped or something like that or something like that. I forgot what they was explaining to me because I was out of it. So, I really didn't understand what they were saying. So, as soon as she said, oh, um, no, as soon as he said, oh, we're going to have to do emergency C-section. But when I tell you, I had to, th as soon as I heard the word C-section, I grabbed the nearest cup or whatever was near me and I started throwing up. And I was like... Please, no, I do not want to do that. Like, I'm scared. Like, I never had it before. I don't know what's going to happen. So, they was like, it's either you get the C-section or you can put yourself in as well as the baby at risk. So, I was like, you know what? Let me just go through with it and just, you know, make sure my baby come out safe or whatever. So, uh, so I went through it. Um, when, I, when they put me under, I didn't feel nothing. Like, I was so numb. I couldn't even get on the bed, like... I was numb, like numb, numb, and um, I was so doped up, like you don't understand. I looked like a fucking crackhead on some G shit, but <laughs> but I got on the bed or whatever. They put the thing up to do the C section thing, whatever. They cut me. I felt the tugging, but I didn't feel no pain. Like I felt the tugging when it was cutting, and you know, not when it was cutting me, but I felt like the tugging when it was trying to you know, I guess pull the baby out. So I felt that or whatever, and. The after effect of that C-section was crazy. Like, when I tell you crazy, I wouldn't wish that on nobody. But, so yeah, that was a story time about the time um, I found out I was pregnant and the labor and stuff like that. It was scary because after that, they told me I needed a blood transfusion because I lost so much blood. But, um, they did tell me that if I was to, like, have another child, that I would be a high risk because I don't have that much blood in my system, I mean, in my body. So, um, I would have to get a blood transfusion. And I don't want that, so not going to do it. But, that concludes everything. I'm a bird. Why the fuck am I acting like that? Chill out. Um, but yeah, so that concludes everything. Um, I will be back. His little loud behind. So I will be back with more videos. I'm so sorry I've been going for like a year, but I had to, you know, take care of my kids and you know do motherly duties and stuff like that. I did do a new intro. I posted that. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, show some love, and you know, 
we going you know make it happen um i will be doing like more videos like pranks and stuff like that. i know they say i say this all the time but i just be busy like when you're a mom it's just like life is busy so i've been going for like a year or so whatever um so yeah i will give you more updates and we'll probably do like some more story times and um probably do a prank here and there here and there we don't know that we don't know we don't know i don't even know so but um yeah so that's it and i hope you guys like and comment and subscribe bye bye